Hello YouTube, it's me, Ayrton Z here, back today on Azow's Mac, uh, bringing you a long-awaited screencast of how to connect to your PC from your Mac over the internet. Uh, the reason why it took me a long time to get this one up was because remote desktop connection actually stopped working with Windows 8, um, and I just finally found a way to make that work. So the first part of this video is going to be adjusting some settings so it will work on Windows 8. Um, but if you are on Windows 7, Vista, or XP, you can go ahead and skip to this time in the video. Alright, so if you're still here, uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and click on the Start menu. And we're going to have to search for a program. Um, this is called the Group Policy Editor. So if I just go ahead and type in Group Policy it's usually the first one that comes up or the only one that comes up okay I'm gonna make this a little bigger so we can easily see it and we're gonna to wanna to go into administrative templates we're gonna to go to Windows components from Windows components we're gonna to wanna to find remote desktop services from remote desktop services we want remote session host in remote ses session host we're gonna want security and there we go so from here we're gonna want to click on require secure RD RPC yeah that one actually that wasn't the one we wanted change required use of specific security layer it's the one below it required use of specific security later layer for remote desktop connections we want to make sure we set that one to enabled and then we also want to go to require user authentication for remote connections and we want to disable that one I'm gonna have the link to the website where I found this information uh, down right under the like button it'll be the first link for you guys make sure you check that out when you're doing that because um, there are obviously specific things you have to click on anyway once you have that disabled and the other one enabled, uh, you're going to have to restart your PC uh, for those changes to take effect. Mine has already been restarted and I'm ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and close remote desktop connection. And now I'm going to have to gather a little bit more information. Uh, the first bit of information I'm going to have to do is go ahead and grab the IP address of my router. Doing that is very easy. All I have to do is log on to Google and type in what's my IP. Google search it and there it is. So obviously my IP address is blocked out for you guys because I don't want you to be able to see it but you can definitely trust that it's right here under that black bar. All right, so I know my IP address is there. Now I'm gonna have to find out what um, port I have to forward. Luckily, the port for remote desktop is the same, so I'm just gonna tell you what it is. It's gonna be 3389. Now the final step, which gets a lot of people a little bit confused and kind of scared, is doing port forwarding. And it's actually very simple. Um, so let's go ahead, we just open our uh, browser, we're gonna type in the IP address of our router. Mine is going to be 192.168.1.1. Um, yours will probably be the same, or it could be .0.1. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and press enter. And as you can see, I'm on a Linksys Smart Wi Fi router. It's an EA3500. Uh, uh, very nice router. I, I will recommend it. And so for this particular step, it's going to be different for a lot of people. Uh, to get to my port forwarding section, I click on security. And then from security, I click on apps and gaming. Now, if you have like a gaming section on your router, it'll probably be in there. Or there might be a port forwarding section. So just look for the word port forwarding. Um, if you can't find it, go ahead and search online your router. Someone else will definitely show you how to do it. 
All right, so I'm gonna do a single port forward. I wanna add a new port forwarding. I'm gonna call this RDP. Uh, the external port is gonna be 3389, and the internal port will also be 3389. The protocol for remote desktop is gonna be TCP. If you do UDP, it will not work. If you do both, it will work. Um, but I'm only gonna open TCP. Now I need the IP address of my PC. If you guys don't already know this, I recommend you go watch my other video because I show you how to do it. Um, so mine is .1.23. Whoops. .1.23. And then I can click apply. But I already have the exact same one up here. So I'm just gonna press cancel because I don't need to make another one. All right, now that we have that, our PC should be just around ready to connect. So if I go on here, you can see my local addresses here. What I wanna do now is enter my actual router's IP address. So I'm back on Google. All I'm gonna do is copy and paste this, copy, back here I'm going to paste once again these are all blocked out because I don't want you to know my IP address now if I are not if I'm gonna have to add a colon and I need to specify the port which is gonna be three three eight nine so what this is doing remote desktop connection is going to my router with my routers IP address because that one is unique there's no other IP address that is the same on the entire global network is going to my router's address saying hey I'm remote desktop connection I'm trying to connect through uh, the port 3389 I know it's open so let me in so when I press enter it'll connect and there we go I'm connected to my PC over the internet right now I'm still on my home network but I know this will work because I'm connecting using this I this global IP address let me go ahead and change the view. There we are. And so that's it, guys. If you have any questions, feel completely free to ask. Um, I'll try to answer them as best as possible. Uh, for any of your particular router settings, definitely go and search on the internet because someone else has definitely tried to do it. Um, and once again, Windows 8 users, you're going to have to do those first steps I showed at the beginning of the video. And Windows 7 and below users, you're kind of lucky and you're not going to have to do that stuff. Anyway, guys, this is Azow's Mac signing off today. Don't forget to uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and don't forget to share a video to be entered in for my giveaway. The link for that video is down below as well. Later.